Hey guys and welcome to another video. As you can see today we're going to do quite a fun one. Today we're going to look at how to make a flex PCB. So I just made a quick hand here and I'm bending the fingers in Altium. And I'm going to show you guys how to set up the layer stack, how to create the bending lines and how to change the materials so you uh, can make a bendable PCB. Uh, so if this video sounds interesting to you, just keep watching and you'll learn how to do it. If you like it, please thumbs up, subscribe and ask any questions that you might have. If you're new to our channel, we basically make PCB tutorial videos on KeyCAD and Altium and make hobby electronics and show you exactly how we build it and program it. Um, if you guys want Altium Designer, there's a link below in the description where you can download it for free for six months just to try it out. It's probably one of the most popular PCB programs in the world. A lot of companies use it, so it might be a good thing to learn if you want to become a PCB engineer in the future. First thing I did was I imported a DXF outline of a hand so I can make a hand-shaped PCB. I did make a video about this in one of our KiCad tutorials explaining how to import DXFs into Altium and KiCad, how to generate them. Uh, so maybe go have a look at that, web, uh, that video and you'll be able to see how to create this DXF you need. You basically just go file, import, DXF, and then you choose your DXF file. So I've got my hand, and then I've got my hand. So it's a bit smaller now, I scaled it up, but that is the principle of it. So I do show how to take vectors, DXX, or JPEGs, and create what you need for Altium or KiCad. Now let's get started to make these fingers bend. I'm gonna try to keep it simple, and then later on I'll do a more complex uh, flexible PCB with components and tracks and actually order it and show you guys how it looks in real life and how it works. But for now, the first thing you have to do is go design layer stack manager. Here is where you've done all your layer stack as we mentioned before, where you make two layer boards, four layer boards, six layer boards. If you haven't watched that video yet, I would advise you to watch it. We explain how we set this up for normal PCB up to 12 layer boards. So the first thing you have to do is on the right hand side, you have to choose rigid and flex. Rigid and flex is actually a different layer stack than our board layer stack. So what we used to is top overlay, solder, copper, dielectric, all this stuff. But now we add a flex one. So we push the blast button, then we make a new stack, and that stack we call flex. And here you can say, you can tell Altium, this sub stack is a flex sub stack. This will be useful later on when we want to simulate it. So a flex PCB doesn't actually have a top overlay or solder mask. It has a thing called a cover layer. So if we go delete our overlay, this is the manual way of doing it. Delete your solder. And now we just add a cover layer above. And you'll see it added top and bottom. You can ask Altium to do this manually for you, automatically for you. Later on, I'll show you how. But for this is how we currently do it with a cover layer. So the cover layer is basically just a thin layer on top of your copper. So you can put components on there, solder it, but it's also material that can bend. So it's called a bikini cover layer. Now that we've created our board layer stack and our flex, let's see how we implement this. Guys, just a warning, uh, do not delete the top overlay and top solder. You'll have to add it back later in your board layer stack. So if you ever want to add a top overlay, top solder, if it's ever missing here, just push add and you can add a overlay or a signal for copper or solder mask. You'll see what happens when I go to my flex, it will unhighlight this because my flex won't have top solder as the solder is stiff and then my board layer stack will not have the flex part of it. So I made two different layer stacks, but you can see you can actually either enable or disable different layers and different layer stacks. So just be careful when you play around with that. If you have any issues, please contact me and I will help. Now the fun starts. You guys are well aware of if I push two, I get this layer. If I push three, I get a 3D layer like this. Um, but we can also push one. So one is your layer stack region or your board layer stack um, management system, should I say. So it can also do that view board planning mode. That is what it is. So here you will tell which part of the PCB is flex and which part of the PCB is solid. To do that, we say design, define split line and add it wherever you want to bend. So we want to bend the fingers. I'm going to add one there. 
and you can see it broke it up into two sections already and now I'm going to add it through all the fingers but be careful because you need two so we need to find like this because the middle part will be flex and these outer sides will be solid now let's do it for all fingers and then I'll show you guys how to yeah break it up into different layer stacks now I created different regions so I've got you can see three different regions here and I did it for every single fingertip by just adding design defined split line so I'm splitting my board into different sections so what I'm going to do now is make these sections flexible so in our layer stack we saw that we we saw that we made a layer stack called flex and this is my flexible one so all I do now is I double click on this and I say flex you can actually make custom cover layers so you don't have to do these things we did in the layer stack management so you can just click on it um, and you see a yellow line appear this is your bending line so I normally make it like this because that's how you want to bend <coughs> we want to bend across this axis so with this finger we want to bring to this side what we do now is we just double click on this line and you'll see how far you can bend it so I want to bend it this thing I want to bend 180 and then ultimate automatically calculate your radius and area width for you don't worry too much about this and then your fold index is when we show the video which pieces get folded first and I'm going to make this go first and then the fingers go on and on I'll show you and we do this for all the fingers so there's one bend and we make this also flex custom and you'll see the line appear we don't want to bend like this we want to bend through that I'm going to keep this 90 but I'm going to make it fold in x2 so so what it means now is this will fold and then this and then this and so on what I did now is I broke up every single region now and the yellow line the bending line are made into indexes so this is one so this will bend 180 degrees first and then I made this the second one the middle one second also 180 and this I made like a third oh, this would be third also 180 and then these two fingers will also go 180 I made it six so that will be last um, so you'll kind of see like a Star Trek like a v-shape finger thing hopefully if all works out the last thing we have to do is make a region stiff it needs a reference where to bend and we can make this our hand so we do this 3d locked so that just means that this will stay stiff and the rest will move now how do we make it move because if we push three you'll see it is possible there's the blue flexible thing and in real life it might be orange um, we go panels pcb and then on top you have to go layer stack regions then i go push three and then i can go move it a bit and then i can use the full state at the bottom so if i do it it should work you can see there goes my thumb and there we go how cool is that so it's all 180 so it's like live long and prosperous or something so you can actually make this line a bit lower to bend more and then we go boom <laughs> cool eh? and that is how you make flexible pcb and this is quite accurate so you can see in real life if i order this there'll be some overlapping there um, i'm going to make a nice project using flexible pcbs i'm just thinking what to do maybe a dice or something um, but that's it guys i think that was quite not too difficult i think it's a good base to start with before we get more complicated with flexible pcbs there we go that's how you make a flexible pcb we made a nice shape a hand and then layer stack is your friend this is where you create your layer stack for your pcb we spoke about that and then number one is a new feature we're introducing where you do your board manager layout view board planning mode and then we can use our pcb on the side here to make it fold easy as that sometimes but slow and there we go guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh, we'll release another tutorial next week let me know in the comments if there's any other tools you would like for Altium or KiCad and what type of projects you would like us to build and show you guys how to build. Have a fantastic weekend, have a fantastic week wherever in the world. Until next time, bye.